Hey guys, Connor Tracy, Big Red SEO. Uh, just want to take a quick rundown of the dashboard for SiteGround. They've released a whole new version. They've gotten rid of cPanel. Uh, so if you're setting up a new account with them, it's going to all be done with their new control panel system. Uh, it's fast, it's slick. I like it. Uh, you can use it on a phone, you can use it on a desktop. Uh, not an issue on either system. Um, so we'll take a rundown through there and see what's going on. So we're going to have a look at what's going on with the new control panel. Uh, first, we'll take a look at the old one. So we'll bring that up here on the screen. This is the old system. Uh, so I've zoomed in quite a bit. Uh, we have your basic information at the top, my information up here in the top right. Um, in order to go in and modify the website, uh, we go into the My Accounts. You pick whatever account it is you want to manage, this one in this case. Uh, we can log into the control panel for the domain directly. This is for WordPress um, or go into cPanel from right here. Um, so we'll go into cPanel and this is your standard cPanel. Um, nothing fancy about it, uh, extend and so forth. It's bloated as heck, but that's cPanel. That's, that's how it operates. So the new system is completely different. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. And this is the new control panel, uh, a lot brighter. They got rid of all the darkness. Uh, instead of my information being up at the top, we've got it here. We do have profile stuff up here, um, but we have our home, our websites, our services, our billing. All that information is on the top. Um, so to access things, if we go into the websites from here, and uh, we can either go into your site builder information, but in our case, we actually want to modify the website uh, so we can just click the site tools here. And this is the new dashboard. So we'll take a run down through here and see exactly what's going on. I'll zoom in and uh, and we'll take a poke. First impressions out of this control panel is that it is fast. They got rid of all of the junk, all of the things that's not needed, all that bloat that's inside of cPanel. They trimmed everything down. Uh, we've got some basic information here. These are uh, pinnable items. So you can select what tools you want and you can select in here what ones are, are the frequent ones that you want to be clicking on. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and have a look here. I have zoomed in. Um, so here on the left hand side, we've got the dashboard, which is here. Uh, we've got the site information. So this is your file manager, your MySQL, uh, your FTP. Um, we go into security. Uh, we've got backup. So if you have an account that has the backup feature, you can use this. I was a little disappointed in the backup system in that, uh, you know, in the old cPanel, you could just hit backup and you can make a backup and download it. Um, on the lowest plans with SiteGround, uh, there's no ability to make a backup. Uh, you've got to pay for it. Uh, so in that regard, I'm not happy. Um, but you can use the uh, the file manager here and then just back up a file. Um, so we've got your security information, your SSLs, your blocked IPs, things like that. Uh, they do have a caching, uh, which is inherent uh, for SiteGround. Uh, they have a plugin for WordPress, uh, so that'll take care of all of that. And you can link up to Cloudflare if you wanted to. Um, the WordPress stuff here, uh, whether you want to install a new WordPress, staging uh, is again used on the larger plans um, that you can have a live environment and a testing environment. Uh, the migrator is awesome. I actually used it last night to move a site from a different host to SiteGround. Um, it only works with SiteGround itself. Uh, you can't use their plugin to move to a different hosting company, which I'm not going to name. Uh, so it's an inbound only. Uh, auto updating, you can enable and disable that as needed. Uh, domain information for part redirects, uh, subdomains, your DNS editor down in here, uh, configuring emails, forwarding, uh, spam information as needed, uh, statistic stuff, really just the error logs is the only thing I ever really care about. Um, and then uh, for developers, uh, PHP Manager, which allows you to change the version of PHP, uh, modify any of those uh, environment variables that you need to do, and of course, cron jobs. Uh, Git, I've never actually used it. Uh, it's for uh, online applications, things like that. Um, and they have this really cool little thing here, this tool finder or uh, 
you can hit control K for it and then just type in a word. Uh, so if I'm looking for um, FTP um, and it just brings it right up, you can click into here and go right into the FTP manager. Uh, so it's really neat, really fast. Uh, like I said, uh, I kind of like what they've done, the direction that they've gone with this. So we'll take a quick look at the file manager because that is somewhere that I spend a lot of time at. Um, it's it's standard run of the mill. Uh, they've built their own version. So up here at the top, you can create folders and create archives. Um, double click, you go into your different folders as needed. Uh, the one thing that I usually do with this system now, um, I back up to their main uh, folder, uh, click on the public HTML, and then up here, click archive and then uh, actually archive the entire public directory. That gets me a backup, which I store here, and then I can click these, and then click download up here, uh, or delete as the case may be. But it's quick. Uh, I was really, really happy with it. Um, if you need to change permissions, if you need to uh, edit file names, if you need to create new folders, you can do all that inside of here. Uh, they also have an editor, so if you want to edit a PHP file inline, you can do all that right here. Just double click that and here we go. Uh, it's kind of neat that it's all colored. Uh, a lot of the old style editors, you didn't have that color formatting, uh, but now we do. So the MySQL is the other area where I spend a lot of time at. Um, so we'll just click over here. Again, you can see how fast this is. It's reactive. Uh, we've got our database, our users, that information can be modified here, creating new databases as needed. Um, I spend my time in PHP my admin. So we'll click into that and then access PHP my admin and we're in. I can do everything I need to do at this point just like I would in a different system. All right, guys, so that is the dashboard. What do you think? Uh, I personally like it. You can use it on a cell phone, you can use it on your desktop. It's quick. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm digging it. Uh, it's better than cPanel in my eyes. Um, they've trimmed out a lot of the fat and just kept the tools that are necessary. Um, if you need additional help with it, their support staff is more than happy to help. Um, but there you go. So let me know what you think. Uh, of course, uh, my name again, Connor Tracy I'm with Big Red SEO. You can follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, and of course here on YouTube. Uh, let me know what you think about the new control panel. All right, guys. Until next time. See you later. Thanks. Bye.